or as a battle rapper, come into Georgia and try to get mainstream, and when you get your buzz and get on there, then go be the mainstream that goes in battle rap. To try it another way, cause when mainstream go to battle rap, that shit really don't work out for them though. I don't even, but at that point, it don't matter. It don't matter because they get in the bag. Yeah, I'm super facts. <laughs> Shit, you Shit, all fuck you. Know? <laughs> and and I and I don't right. I don't believe I don't believe it won't work out because if it's a mainstream, he got a following, so they damn sure gonna tune in to watch him battle rap just because he battle rap. His followers and the battle rap people gonna tune in. Now, whether he's good at it or not is a whole other conversation. Forever battle rap and that can really rap, but for some reason they won't let they will not is in. Hey Top, did you rap again? Yeah, I, I kicked Gichi. Yeah, shout out to Gichi Got it. That's my dog. I got crazy on Gichi. I'm talking about uh Surf. Yeah, I battled. We listened to Surf in the um in the room the other day. Hell yeah, me and Surf. I kick Surf ass too. Free the way. So this is the article from All Hip Hop. Details of Sue Surf's RICO case emerge. The feds have laid out some of their case against battle rapper Sue Surf and nine other men they have charged with RICO. So a New York, New Jersey grand jury as part of an ongoing RICO case that had the famous battle rapper as one of 10 people named by the feds. Federal prosecutors believe that Surf, real name Rajan Cox, is an active member of the Rolling 60s neighborhood crip sect. They say New Jersey crew is called the Silverback Gorillas or SBG, according to Lisa Evers of New York's Fox 5. Surf and his co-defendants are accused of murder, moving drugs, robbery, theft, and another unnamed illicited activities. The feds have been watching them since 2015. They say Surf shot a gun at a rival in March of 2017, and another individual is accused of crippling a rival gang member in another case instance. The alleged they sold weed in a DM convo on Instagram as well. Here are the other men named in the federal indictment. Jason Franklin, also known as Freak or OG Freak. Elijah Williams, also known as Little Smith. Ty Bird, also known as Bangs or G Bands. Kareem Green, also known as Try Me. Taheem Terry, also known as Ty or Rolling Ty. Amir Warden, also known as Stamps or Killer. Amir Edmonds, also known as G Baby. Abdul Yarel, also known as Run It Up or BB. Nigel Johnson, also known as Gito. The U.S. Attorney's Office in New Jersey did not immediately respond to calls by all hip hop requesting a statement. And that's it for that article. Yeah, somebody <laughs> telling on them people. Right. That shit sound crazy as hell, man. I mean, it's practical, though. It's like, you know, one thing I did when I sat back in the penitentiary, I sat back and I thought about <clears throat> stories I heard from my uncles and my older homies and it always the same shit. Somebody in the squad get caught up, pillow talks, tell on one motherfucker investigation. They watch, watch. They come get everybody. So I figure like with shit. I'm in prison right now. They don't come get me on this six I'm doing. Right? I was doing time off seven, end up doing close to six. They don't come get me. Shit. I might be clean enough to get out and stay away from everybody. And I didn't seen about five crews, nigga, sweeps. Smartest decisions you ever Hell yeah, yeah, I can't, man. Listen, man. I told a motherfucker, man, I said, bro, the day I allow a motherfucker with no direction and no focus to try to focus and direct me, I'm a bozo. So you got to remember the streets. Don't never forget this. Unless it's just genuine and it's family and y'all been doing it out the sandbox and it don't matter. They only want to fuck with you when they need you. They don't give a fuck if they, what what happened with you. They don't give a fuck what they bring to you. 
They only want to fuck with you when they need you. So here go the thing. If you don't need them, why fuck with them? Mm, I'm clipping that. That's right. <laughs> I'm clipping that shit. <laughs> yeah, because you never know what a nigga got going on, bro. A nigga know he hot as a firecracker. And, and, and it come around you, and now you're a, you a person of interest. And Lord forbid you doing anything for your hustle, your survival. Right? They ain't even paying you no attention. But he just didn't put them on you. He I think somebody just said that Severus going to say free the gang, but he didn't even know who's telling on him, so he can't even say that. Yeah, you're like, you know, something's going to get weird. Think it's gonna be? You think it's a repeat of the uh, Young Thug case? What Thug? Them still ain't. I'm talking about what far fully. as the people telling. Oh yeah, they are gonna tell eight niggas. I, no, how many got arrested? Ten. Six. Ten. Thug six shit is tell. different. Hell, six whack. No, nah, but Thug <laughs> shit is different. Thug shit is state. This is federal. Yeah, yeah but shit. He right. Six might do tell because it's fed. Oh, they gonna tell. Yeah, I think they said it. It's always cool. Look good. We together. We got all the money and the bitches, the hoes. We strapped up. We had the studio. It's always at niggas. Boy, niggas with Denzel Washington, your ass to death. See, that ain't that ain't playing gangster. That's just going with the flow. See, now you in the motherfucking water, nigga. Sink or swim. Why is everybody getting charged with RICO cases, man? What the fuck is going on with these RICO cases? What you mean what's going on? Nigga, they've been around for a very long time. I know, but you know, you didn't usually see them as much as you seeing them now. See, no, what you, what you came, what you fail to realize is, Guap, when we talking about the other RICO cases that we're talking about, certain ones is state. When it come to Young Thug and all them, that's, that's a state. new thing, bro. That's a that's the new the state shit. That's state definitely new. new shit. Yeah, that's there you definitely go. new. The but we're talking Rico about been here. You know that was around with John Gotti. There I you go. That's federal that. shit. Right, but yeah, I'm saying it, it wasn't too many black people like younger black people getting charged like they are now. Well, you know, charges. you know, you got niggas, um, you know, Free Ray Rick. They hit him with it. You got these niggas with these weed and these pills. They putting this shit on the highway. You know what I'm saying? All that type of shit. I'll be tripping off these niggas. I'll be watching them on Instagram. Man, if I was getting that type of money doing anything like that, I'd be the brokest nigga on Instagram. <laughs> and another thing that niggas keep forgetting that, like that's that girl, shit. that that lady that's out there in Atlanta, she come from L.A. No, nah, I told y'all that. I told y'all she from L.A. Who is he? Who you talking about? The DA? Yeah, yeah she from LA. She ain't got no ties in Atlanta. She don't oh, so she a Republican. Going. She finna take nigga. She is looking at um, the vice president of the United States right now, and seeing it how she got there same way. Exactly. First of all, take the niggas down. All right. Say, damn. Whoa, that's big right no, there. No, whack no. Yeah. Appreciate y'all having me, man. Salute, salute, salute. Ah, ah, <laughs> tell these niggas.